Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse here and I am back for a quick uh, bonus video for you guys today. And uh, yeah, a couple reasons I wanted to do this, which we'll get into here shortly. But before I do, I just again want to thank everyone for the channel support. Thank you for the likes and comments and subscribes on the videos. I've actually had a couple of people reach out to me in this past week or so with uh, questions and wanting to chat and uh, just how I can however I can help with some special projects people are working on that's all I'm really gonna say right now but um, yeah I mean within the heck within the last couple of weeks I've had you know two three four really interesting uh, cool things happen so again thank you to everybody for the support and I look forward to working with some of you here uh, soon um, but for people who are new to the channel, I do unlock videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Mondays are typically stream archives from twitch.tv slash illegally cited. Um, I've kind of preempted those a couple times in the last month or so just because I've had some other accessibility news or just, you know, giant things happening that I really wanted to cover instead. But typically Mondays are stream archives. Wednesdays and Saturdays are everything else, and you can find everything divided into playlists here. So if you are looking for something in particular, definitely check out the playlist area of the channel, because it could be anything from me covering low vi uh, mainstream games as a low vision gamer, the low vision spotlight videos, could be um, <clears throat> specific game accessibility reviews or topics, could be... Um, iOS or PC blind accessible. So uh, when I say PC or iOS accessible game spotlight, um, those are games that can be played by the totally blind gamer. And then I have a few playlists for VR, virtual reality. I've got virtual reality accessibility. I've got VR games, VR experiences. And uh, yeah, a couple people have reached out to me regarding that as well, which is really, really cool. I'm glad I can be of help. So honestly, those things have made my week um, because the rest of my week has just been complete garbage. Um, and again, just you know, a shout out to every everybody going through all the crap that's happening over in uh, the Ukraine. You know, with uh, Russia and the Ukraine over there, I've been hearing, you know, hearing and watching and seeing all kinds of things that are happening over there. Can't even imagine. Um, really hope that you know that this can be dealt with very soon and I really don't want to see a World War three because God knows if we did it could get really horrible really quickly um, so yeah there was that to wake up to um, but on a more local note and the reason that I'm actually recording this video is to give you a few updates on things that uh, may affect the channel and the stream and such. So, as you may remember, if you've been following the channel for a little while, last October, uh, Halloween actually, I got my new gaming PC. Life was good. It was sweet. You know, I did a review of it on the channel. I was really happy with it. Still pretty much was really happy with it. Until a week or two ago. Um, and we'll see what happens here. But to basically... Long story short, the computer kind of just decided it was going to go to crap um, in the last week or so. So basically, what happened was, um, I had mentioned it on the channel before, there would be a rare occasion, you know, maybe once or twice from like, you know, November until, mm, let's say, early February, mid-February, where the game, the computer would just reboot. Um, it did it a couple times like through Halo, and I thought it was really a Halo thing. But then it would do it maybe, you know, once or maybe, tw you know, twice tops where I'd just be doing like an email or something and this machine would just go, you know, like the, the monitor would just go black. You know, I'd look over at the tower and the machine was rebooting and then it would run fine. So I'm like, okay, that was just a weird thing. Didn't really think too much of it. It was annoying, but whatever. But then a couple weeks ago it started doing this more often. Um, a couple weeks ago, it started doing it maybe, you know, a couple times a week. 
And then a friend of mine came down last weekend, and it seemed okay. Then shortly thereafter, uh, shortly thereafter um, it was starting to crash even a little bit more often. And I started looking into it. I was looking at event logs. I was looking at device manager. I was looking at, you know, monitoring the cooling and everything. And it was like the cooling was fine for a while. Like it, it was still normal. Um, but I noticed like, you know, the, at first the Bluetooth was seemed to be failing. I wasn't really using it, but, uh, you know, it said, oh, something went wrong with the Bluetooth. And then there was some weird USB thing. Uh, and then I woke up, um, was it two, three days ago, Wednesday or Thursday, I think I forget. And I noticed that some of the RGB lighting wasn't working. The only thing that was lit up was that diamond at the top, all the side stuff, all the front stuff was gone. The fan really wasn't doing anything. And I looked at the, uh, cooling of it. I looked under the, you know, I showed you in the video where you could look up and monitor, the temperatures and stuff and it was running really hot uh, for what compared to what it usually does and it was doing nothing nothing idling in the background not even anything like cookie clicker or anything like I was dinking around with lately we'll cover that on the channel at some point but um yeah so it was running really hot and I knew that okay so basically something is failing fans aren't working I don't know if it's the motherboard I don't know if it's the power supply it's under warranty F it um, copied some files off of it uh, onto a backup drive and then shut it down and called HP support so I do have to send the unit back um, they're sending me a coffin box to put it in thankfully you know it's under warranty so there will be no cost to anything but hopefully Monday I will receive the return box and be able to ship it back and then hopefully within the next week or two ish I should be able to get it back in working order again I don't know if they'll fix it or replace it or you know whatever that is but um, and it was annoying because I had when I got it they gave me a deal because uh, it was probably close to the holidays and they gave me this deal on on-site service and I thought okay well you know what uh, being someone who is blind or legally blind um, not being able to drive, you know, hey, if something goes wrong, they can just come out and fix it. Perfect. That's why I ended up deciding to go for it. You know, it's an expensive rig. So spending like a hundred bucks for a couple of years of on-site seemed like a pretty good deal. But what they neglected to tell me, apparently, and I don't know if all companies are this way, I think, I don't think they are because my parents, I got them a computer a few years back to replace their old junker and their computer actually arrived not really working well so they called and Lenovo came out and just fixed it up and got it going again um but uh, HP they basically had said oh well we are going to have to have you send it in because on-site support is only for simple things like oh if we know exactly what the problem is like maybe we got to replace some RAM or a hard drive or, you know, something they know definitively what the problem is. They'll send the person out with that part or they'll send the part to you and then they'll have somebody come and then put it in or do whatever. And I was really disappointed with that. I mean, even when I was at um, uh, my former job, we always had somebody coming in from Dell because we had this just notorious junker computer. It was like the biggest lemon you've ever seen. And parts just had to keep, I mean, pretty soon I think we had replaced everything in the inside the case because everything just kept dying on it. Um, but they came out and they would always fix it. They replaced, hell, I think they replaced the motherboard, the hard drive. I think they replaced RAM. I think they replaced, I don't even know what they replaced. But they must have come out there like three times. So that was really disappointing. You know, I thought, well, like I said, because I'm not going to be able to take this ginormous tower and get it out whatever so hopefully once i get the box i can they said i should be able to call fedex and they should be able to come by and pick it up um you know i'll put the new uh shipping label on it and whatnot but that would that kind of annoyed me especially since i paid for that but yeah the new computer um i mean it ran like even when it was overheating and i was copying files off it ran like a dream it was still just stupid fast 
Um, but I could tell it was just there was going to be, you know, if I let it go for another day, it was either going to really overheat and fry something else, or it was just going to flat out keel over and die. So, yep, had to send it in. Um, so I can't really play any modern games. You know, I know Elden Ring is coming out this week. There's actually Shadow Warrior 3 coming out next week. I might be able to play that. I gotta look at the specs on that. I might be able to play it. So I'm recording this on my old rig prior to... Thankfully, I had this. You know, the rig I was using until October. So we're back using that. And thankfully, other than a few updates, everything just picked up where I left off. All my software, of course, was still there. Um, and it was just like I plugged it in and turned it on and away we went. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I've had, it's been a really busy work week. So, of course, being the time where I have lots of virtual appointments I was going to do, and some of them I would use my home computer for because of some software I had, and then I had to work around that. It's just been a garbage week. Um, dealing with HP and dealing with work stuff and just, eh, troubleshooting and all kinds of stuff so you know yeah i could probably fire up fraps or something but i don't even know how much i feel like playing this weekend i had planned on looking at some of the steam next fest games uh game demos that were out there because there's one of those happening this week um and i did end up playing a little bit of one on the new rig before i took it down i think late last weekend or, or like on this past monday there's a game called Total Over... No, was it Total Overkill? I think it is. It's really freaking cool, dude. It I'm going to cover it on the channel at some point because it's a retro first-person shooter. It's super fast. You have a lot of movement. And your dude has a chainsaw for a leg. And you can do this slide thing where you like zoom into people and just cut them up. It is glorious. It is a beautiful thing. And uh, I definitely want to play that when it comes out. So, yeah, um, very much looking forward to that. And if I can, I might try a couple of games this, this evening. But, again, I'm just not feeling very social this weekend. Um, had some st other family stuff happen. I just found out about, um, unfortunately, one of my relatives passed away um, in the last day or so as well. So that's not great either i mean we knew it was kind of probably going to happen pretty soon but still it sucks um so it's just been a shit week and um so you know i said i said you know I'm, i might do a bonus video just to let you guys know if you're not seeing any like why aren't you covering elden ring why aren't you covering some new games that are happening that is why um but as i've said on the channel before Remember how I say that I, I record video videos whenever I can. So if, um, let's say I get sick or, you know, my computer takes a crap like it did this last week here, I don't have to worry because I have lots of videos already queued up. There's lots of stream archives. There's lots of different variety of videos. I've got some low vision spotlights. I think I've got a few accessible game spotlights. And now that I can't play some of these newer games, like I said, I can go back and maybe my Steam library, take a look at those in the next week, maybe try a couple games. Uh, maybe I'll have time to try a couple of uh, mobile games that people have wanted me to get around to looking at. Um, I've downloaded at least two or three different iOS games, um, like voiceover accessible games, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to take a look at those uh, at some point and record videos for those. Who knows? But... Uh, so that is what happened um, this week for me, and that's why there's going to be no stream this weekend, and like I said, not sure about the next week or two either. Like, I, I may be able to, I may want to do it, I may not, I'm not sure. Like I said, it just depends. I just need, I needed a break. <laughs> this, this last week was just sheer chaos. Um Work and all this troubleshooting and then all this other stuff. So, yeah, no, I just needed a... Needed a break, so I'm taking it pretty chill this weekend. Just did a load of laundry and got a couple other odds and ends done. But from here on in, you know what? It's just going to be me slacking off. I'm going to watch some movies. I just recently got this um, Ghostbusters Ultimate Collection box. Very much looking forward to looking at some of the special features on that, so I might do some of that. 
you never know. I got to keep, you know, catch up on my reading, and it's just going to be a chill weekend. Um, but yeah, so that is why, you know, even the video that I re released uh, uh, a little bit earlier today, this Hexen video, I've had that recorded hell since Riley was up here, and <clears throat> I like having those in my, you know, in my back pocket because that way. If something bad happens, I can still do not only archive videos and release them for you guys, but I can try to keep up a good variety. You know, I like to try to do, okay, I'm, well, you know, one day I'm going to do some accessible game. One day, one day I'm going to do a PC game or a mobile game, or I might do a hardware review, or I might do a geek loot st spotlight video, or, you know, just try to mix things up a little bit. Um, sometimes there'll be channel updates or accessibility videos or whatnot. So that is what is happening this week um also just uh, you know another thing that's been going on this whole twitter verse of um i'm so done with this uh I, I covered in in a recent video um but there just continue continues to be this sort of discourse there continues to be just all kinds of shenanigans where like accessibility versus difficulty and some mainstream press people that I won't name that have said some kind of stupid things. Um, but like I said, I mean, we've gone through this before. I'm not going to go through it again. Um, I love what I do. I love my day job, but I love like all this game and tech accessibility and advocacy and consulting that I do on the side. I love it and I'm going to continue to do it, but just, you know, some, sometimes it's exhausting. Um, you know, hearing the same arguments or seeing companies make the same mistakes of having things being overlooked all the time or just not even considered you know, do they even consider disabled users? Do they consider, um, even, you know, like the simplest of things, um, text size, even like if you're not going to make the game totally blind accessible, you'd think it would at least be easy to make easier to make the text size bigger. Um, but even just little stuff like that. Um, so I'm not going to go into all that again, but it's just really disappointing to see this whole thing pop up literally like every other month. It seems to be happening. Um, and then, um, <clears throat> I got some other bad news this week. <laughs> Keeps on coming, man. Um, if you are a fan of retro first person shooters, as you well know, I am by now, the last couple of years, there has been this amazing group, this amazing um, ma uh, digital and print magazine that has had uh, two successful Kickstarters, and they were in the middle of their third E1M1 magazine. You've probably heard me talk about them. I've covered some demos that I got from their demo disc um, before, and I probably still have more to go to cover. Um, but it was this magazine that was devoted to, like, uh, all the retro shooters from the 90s and stuff, but then all the, you know, the recent shooters that are kind of going back to that style, the more fast action instead of the slow-paced military stuff. And there's a, there's so many of them. Like, it, it's... There's so many cool things happening. Um, and I had just literally backed the third Kickstarter, like, what, two, three weeks ago? It came out the beginning of February... And I wake up to an email, um, I think it was like Tuesday this week, and it said, oh, the this Kickstarter has been canceled by the creator. I'm like, what? That seems really odd, because everyone just loves these things. And again, this is something I'm not going to go into here, because I don't even fully know what happened. But apparently there was some whole drama within that community. One of the One of the creators said some stuff on Twitter or something apparently and then just there were all kinds of bad reactions and it's just it crushed any cohesion the team had and so a lot of people had to step away 
and to the point where it's like, you know what, no, we just have to shut this down in its current form. You know, it sounds like there's still, you know, give it a little bit of time, but there might be, they might spring up a new community around it. You know, of course, they probably won't be able to call it E1M1 anymore, but um, <clears throat> they still have their Discord up. They removed a bunch of stuff, but they renamed it. Um, and it might continue in some form, some fashion, but we'll just have to wait and see. I really, I really, really hope that things can be salvaged and people just can get through what they need to, because I've actually talked to a couple of people from the magazine. I've asked them questions, you know, just about game accessibility. I've asked them about like, you know, the accessibility of their magazine, because, you know, being blind or being legally blind, I wanted to read it with voice dream reader and have it to be accessible. So... You know, I've talked to them a couple times about a few different topics, and all I'm all I'm gonna say is because I don't know if anything, like I said, transferring it, that it's gonna, you know, the the magazine right now is dead in its current form. All I will say is there was potentially something cool happening where I might have been able to be involved with E1M1. Um, I had just heard from somebody and I might have been able to do something cool with that project myself, but in case something happens in the future where I might be able to bring it forward to something else, that's all I'm going to say, but some of you might be able to put two and two together if you think about it. Uh, but yeah, it's really sad to see that go. Cause I was really looking forward to, like I said, I've learned so many games. There's a few people online that I've heard, you know, that I either E1M1 magazine, Civ 11, G man lives. Um, there's this Kurt collects guy. Uh, I, I found him fairly recently. Um, there's a couple other ones. Uh, but like I found about so found out about so many of these just retro shooters, these boomer shooters as they call them. Um, and I love playing them. Like I love seeing what they come up with and like use how they can use modern technology to, to stretch those types of games into what they couldn't even do back in the nineties because of hardware limitations. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, it's just been this, like I said before, this whole retro shooter renaissance and, uh, yeah, largely E1M1 is uh, a good group to thank for that. So, again, wishing the best to everybody that ended up with that situation. So that happened. Um, blah, blah, blah. What else? Like I said, there's probably something else that I forgot about. Um, co-worker of mine I know is also going through some stuff. That's all I'm going to say, but he's a good friend of mine now. Um, so I wish him all the best. Yeah, it's just been an ugly, it's been a really ugly week. Um, and I just wanted a break. <laughs> I figured I would do a quick bonus video for you guys. Um, I'm not sure if I'll release this today or just do it for you guys on this Sunday video or something. I don't know, just to give you something else. But that is what is happening um, if you're not seeing any like new games necessarily, that is going to be why I'm going to be out my new computer for probably a couple of weeks at, at least. Um, my guess would be two to three weeks or so. You know, they said once I get it shipped out, they said seven to 10 business days, excuse me. Um, but we'll see. Thankfully I have the old rig and it, and it is working still quite well it's just you know a little underpowered you know the, the 980 isn't what it used to be uh it's not as powerful as it used to be so some of the stuff i maybe was going to try uh i can't really do but hey you know what i can still play vampire survivors so if there's a patch update this evening usually on saturdays guess what this guy's going to play some vampire survivors still and thankfully steam does seem to obey the uh cloud saves with that game so uh, i tried a little bit last night just to see and then I hear we're getting a power wash simulator update this coming Wednesday. So, I mean, I know I played the hell out of this on this, on this machine. So I will be there when that comes out. Uh, even if it's not on my new rig, uh, cloud saves are already working beautifully on that. And I will be there to 
clean away this mess a little bit. Nice, chill, relaxing game. Very, very much looking forward to that, guys. So, anywho, um, let's see, what else? Is there anything else that I can think of regarding the channel, regarding this computer upgrade? I mean, I guess the only other thing I will say is, like I said, I, I, I one of my concerns with, with that HP that I bought, like I said, it runs like a dream. Um, it is so fast. Even going back to my old computer, it's not slow. I have a primary SSD in here, but I have spinning hard drives for the rest because at the time they were SSDs were just too expensive. And I notice, you know, I mean, it's still a decently fast machine, older graphics card aside, um, but going from, you know, 16 or 64 to 16 gigs of RAM again, and an M MVME drive to a regular SSD drive and spinning drives. Oh yeah, you notice for sure. Um, but my main concern, even in the review, I said my main concern about these this HP is I wonder if the cooling is enough. And I don't know if I got a lemon power supply or a lemon motherboard because I'm guessing it's probably one of those two things that went to crap and then made something else fail. Um, but I'm wondering, was that partly HP's fault? Was that because, you know, they didn't have all that many internal fans? Yeah, they had a CPU fan, the GPU's got a fan, they've got the big case fan in the front. But really, I think that's about it. You know, to me, that thing should have at least two or three more fans to circulate things throughout the case and so i'm going to give hp the benefit of the doubt you know they've been willing to kind of work with me they're going to of course take it back under warranty they're hopefully going to give me you know get it fixed or replace whatever needs to be done and we'll go from there and you know we'll just treat it like a new computer and hope all is well however if you know three four months go down the road again and if i encounter something similar I am going to demand a refund because I have a, I just, like I said, if it happens again, I have a sneaking suspicion that it's their lack of cooling in their hardware designs that might have caused this problem to begin with. Because maybe something got a little bit overheated, you know, maybe a power spike or maybe there was something, I don't know, maybe there was something that just, um, got overheated a little bit too much and then you know like I said things just kind of spiraled from there I don't know like I said it's hard to speculate I don't know exactly what's wrong with it but I did all the testing that I could even think of to get it figured out um you know I even hell I even um restored windows just to see if anything was really corrupt and I you know nope that did not work so yeah and, and then I said once the fans and stuff and the lights started dying Nope, this is a hardware issue. It is definitely not a software issue. So, anyway, um, that is your update. I know, again, a little more detail, a little more babble than I intended. But, again, there has just been a lot of bad things happening this week. So, you know, worldwide and uh, locally and family and friends. And just, I, when it rains, it pours, man. But on the plus side, it is actually reasonably nice outside. I actually have my sliding door open a little bit just to get some fresh air. It's it's above freezing. It's like 36 degrees outside, which is like a heat wave compared to what we've been having. So, you know what? I'll take it. I know some people are like, oh my god, it's 40 degrees. It's freezing. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Uh, this is, uh, like I said, 35, 40 degrees is a heat wave, man, and I think it's supposed to get a little bit better this week. So, as, yeah, as long as Monday or Tuesday, if I can get my rig out, and hopefully they'll take care of it for me, and um, hopefully I'll have a new uh, working rig back in a couple of weeks. But until then, not sure how much I will do any streaming. I don't know. Um, but again, the videos will be coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday per usual. That is why... I record them ahead of time. So if things go bad, you'll still get your regularly scheduled programming. So with that, I am going to wrap it up here. I am going to upload this and either unlock it for you guys today or tomorrow. 
And, uh, yeah, um, like I said, no stream this weekend, so enjoy the rest of your weekend, everybody. And I will chat with you in a future video. So you can follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and right here on YouTube. So, yep, till next time, I will chat with you all again later.